Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today we have an exciting adventure planned here at the Texas Ranger Heritage Center at Fort Martin Scott. We're about to go through this gate and indulge ourselves in a little Texas Ranger history. So get ready for the ride and let's roll the intro. On entering the Texas Ranger Heritage Center, we were received a passport and also this little brochure right here. Now this is unique because much like the state parks and national parks, the passport is a way that you can go and see different locations and receive a stamp showing that you visited. But unlike many of those passports that you receive that just are kind of cool to keep as a souvenir, this one actually has purpose. You can, after you reach a certain amount of sites visited, send it back and actually receive a gift basket. It's kind of their way to say thank you for visiting our area. Look at this photo, guys. So this is almost all of the Texas Rangers that are currently in the service of the Texas people. As you can see here, there are three different kinds of rangers here. We have like our SWAT team which is there in the green, the officers which are in these black jackets, and then what's considered to be the rank and file, they're all in these white tops here. But look here guys, there's women who are Texas Rangers as well. Two of them are officers and then two of them are just in the service right now. And women actually came to the Texas Rangers in around 1992 before they were even allowed to be on the front lines of the military. Now we have been to another Texas Ranger site previously when we went to Waco and we checked out the Texas Ranger Hall of Fame. So these two sites are going to go hand in hand. But this site has a little bit more of a historic tie. The reason being whenever they finished up at the Alamo people fell back to this area and actually created the first official fort right here like right over here. Well beyond that this area is huge. This event center is massive and it plays a big part in the Fredericksburg area community. They do a lot of different events here. They have a chuck wagon dinner. People even get married out here because it's just so epic. They have a full size catering kitchen right over here. And as you can see, you can imagine they could host quite the crowds here. Yeah, quite the crowd. They even have a Western movie night, which they show right over here on the screen. And uh, we're not just talking about the old stuff. Sometimes it's the new stuff too. Now this is what we're going to be seeing coming to this area in the future. This building right here. This is going to be the Texas Rangers Heritage Center, which is a portion of the phase two planning. Now within that phase two planning, they're having an interactive experience like you will not even be able to comprehend. 3D everything. There's going to be a gallery that's going to show in real life what it would have been like to be at the Alamo or to do many of the things that the Texas Rangers have to do. And they're going to work off of the principles of the Rangers to communicate the standards that they, that they protect and serve the people with. That's going to be really cool, guys. These signs are placed throughout to show us what we might look at once that center is available. As you can see here, a huge exhibit floor, much larger than that of Waco. This is the Legacy Theater, which I was talking about, where you can interact with the 3D experience. This is what it's going to look like. There will be five different areas, and each one of those will have a very special message. In the olden days, wagons like this were used for pretty much everything. But now, right off of this wagon, they have their Chuck Wagon Cookout. Now remember when we went on the Oregon Trail and went to the museums that talked about that? This is very similar to the kind of wagon that they might have used at that time as well, where everything would have to be loaded on. And remember the museum that we stopped off at? If you weren't there for that video, basically you had to load your possessions up into one wagon as well as enough food to feed your family for a long, long time. And the wagon wasn't actually much longer than the Roadrunner. So imagine taking your family of five or 10, however many you had, and having everything inside. That's crazy. This one mostly looks like it is filled up with supplies and kitchen, but again, some of those, this is all that they could have was something like this, while others had just a flat wagon with these big buggy wheels. 
Okay, now that we are leaving the pavilion and we kind of have an idea of the future of this complex, it's time for us to go down the walkway. There are a couple of bronze statues down here as well as a really cool amphitheater, so I'm really excited. This area is where they do a lot of their interpretive talks and also their education programs, which are so important. I can't stress enough to you guys at home that you should look up education programs around you that are like this so you can stay informed and also kind of have an idea of the history that surrounds you. It always amazes me how detailed these bronze statues really are. Someone so talented always is working on these and they're so amazing. Even the little strokes of hair on the body and down here at the base, all of the little details. It's really amazing to see these statues. And here we have the amphitheater. So down here, here we go. This is where a lot of the educational programs happen. Now this amphitheater kind of hides out. You don't see it when you're in the initial parking lot over here. But once you get to it, it's fully accessible. And it is very well lit out here at night as well. So that is a huge bonus, yet again. The details are everywhere, even in the light sconces. These are awesome. They have this little seal right in the middle that says Texas Rangers. And just on a side note, if you're not from Texas and you're not familiar with the Texas Rangers, or you think the Texas Rangers are merely a baseball team, I hope that this video as well as my others helps educate you as to who the first Texas Rangers really were and why that they are important in our state. Now looking around, we find that the original Texas Ranger Museum is located in San Antonio and it's called the Buckhorn Museum. So that's kind of cool and might be something that we need to check out also. So basically this bronze statue right here has been around almost as long as I have, one year shy. So we basically are the same age. We are now moving across the parking lot from the main structure and to the future home site of what is to come in Texas Ranger land. And I'm really excited. This large area out here is just vast and you can only imagine a huge building spewing up from the ground and having all of this cool stuff inside of it. But they already do have a couple of structures here. There's a very large tower, the one that we saw in the photos. There's also a seal. The seal we could probably see better from above, but I don't think that we can take the drone up today. Around the seal are all of the fallen Texas Ranger officers and they have little plaques for each and every one of them. So we're going to check that out as well. This right here is the field. Are more this is the more recent name so they have them broken down between 1901 and 1935 and 1935 to the present you'll notice that only four Texas Rangers have lost their life since 1935 and just keep in mind whenever you think of the Texas Rangers we mostly think of them as a version of police however in Texas history they were much more than that they've done so many things well beyond just policing they actually were the people who were on the front lines they were kind of like Texas's own soldiers at one point trying to defend the territory when it was still the wild wild west after that it evolved more into the police sector but there is definitely a difference between regular police and Texas Rangers when it comes to how they operate and I did go into a little bit more of that whenever we were in Waco so I definitely advise that you go check out that video to kind of understand a little bit more about it now I also do encourage you if you're watching this and educating yourself a little bit more to watch all of the different kinds of movies that are out there they'll give you a little taste of 
kind of what has happened over time. And yeah, they're dramatized in many scenarios, just as Walker, Texas Ranger is. However, they do kind of give you an idea as to the capacity of the Rangers and what it is that they do. And again, it is different than just police work. It's very different. And this structure right here is the tower that we saw in all of the photos. It's huge. And there are also memorial bricks that can be purchased as well. So what's inside the tower, however? It's a huge, massive, cavernous tower. Wow. Wow. However, if you look up here, you'll notice there are white boxes. Those white boxes are actually speakers, and I'm assuming that they probably broadcast out either warning sirens in the area, or maybe they're tied into the main pavilion, which also has a very nice sound system. I'm not sure, and that would be something I need to look into probably, but wow. We do have one final area to visit out here at the Texas Ranger Stop, and that is yet another bronze statue. This one is the largest of all of those that we will find out here, and it's along this nice pavement. This overall stop is definitely beautiful. It's well worth the pull off while here in Fredericksburg, and I can only imagine that once the phase two opens that this place is just gonna blow the doors off of most museums in the state of Texas. Look at this. Let's get a closer look though at this very large bronze. This one is called The Legend, The Lore, The Law. And this is the sculptor right here, Dustin Payne. And it was gifted in 2016 to the facility. We have four different rangers on their horses. And the detail work again is amazing. You can see the badges and the steel looks in their eyes. Each one of them has a crinkle in their hat. Each wrinkle in their pants is pronounced. The hairs on their chin. Everything about this is amazing, guys. But upon a closer glance, something that you will notice about this particular bronze, it actually looks like it walks through time. So on the far end, you can obviously tell this was like at the beginning of the Rangers. And by the time that you make it over here, this is a more modern Ranger. That's really cool. That's super cool. As we start here, the evolution of the Rangers. Thanks guys for coming along with me on this awesome adventure and exploration. I am excited to see the progress of this future site right out here, and I hope you are as well. I will keep you posted because it's right here in my own backyard of Texas. Until next time, guys, I hope that you will like this video, subscribe for more content, and check out the interactive map in the description below for all of our adventures we can go on together. Bye, guys!